to, all right, I want you to picture this. It's the fall of 2014, and I'm living in Minnesota with my husband Mitchell and my three amazing kids. We have a big house on the lake, and from the outside looking in, we have it all. My husband has a thriving medical practice, and I'm running my very own dream dental practice. We're active in the community and busy with our kids' activities. We're busy, 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 <laughs> busy. We had created a monster machine, a treadmill of busyness, and every day it just seemed to go faster and faster. We were running on this treadmill and we could not get off. And as we ran, the scenery of life just passed us by in a blur until we hit a wall, a wall called MYH11. A simple heart murmur detected in my son led us into the world of MYH11 and smacked us right into the wall of our very own personal pandemic. You see, he had a mutation on this gene and his aortic root was dilated much beyond normal. This put him at higher risk for thoracic aortic aneurysms leading to acute aortic dissection. He was 14. Suddenly, our son needed our care on every level, physical, emotional, transporting him to an endless series of doctor's appointments. But we were on the treadmill of busyness. Where were we going to find the time? We were busy, 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 busy. Does this sound familiar? It should. It should, because it's the nature of the dental world to get stuck on the treadmill of busyness. Physical stress, emotional stress, financial stress, fear of COVID? No time to pee. <laughs> it's no wonder that an alarming 84% of dentists admit feeling burned out, including me. And here's the thing, I don't want you to get stuck on the treadmill of busyness at the risk of your own health and happiness. I don't want you to wake up one day in your very own personal pandemic. Because I know life has a way of making you balanced if you don't find balance yourself. So today I'm gonna to show you how we slowed that machine and got off that treadmill. And I'm gonna share with you the three balanced basics that we learned to reclaim our lives so you can reclaim yours. I've run several marathons and every single one, right around mile 18, I hit the wall. My legs feel like lead, my lungs feel like fire. And I think to myself, I just wanna stop. Well, life is like a marathon. And when it gets out of control and you hit that wall, you have three choices. You can quit, you can compare yourself to others and try and keep up with them, even if it kills you, or you can go within and remember why you're running the race. When we hit that wall, we learned that the treadmill of busyness had led us far, far away from our why. So just like in a marathon, we decided to go within and remember our why. And it led us on a path, a path back to the basics, back to our core values. We chose to go within and remember our why. And that's the first balanced basic that allowed us to reclaim our life. For us, that meant spending more time together as a family, having experiences, we decided to sell our house and simplify our life so that we could step off that treadmill a little more often. So I want you to think about that in your life. Are you near that wall? And if you are, ask yourself, 
What is my why? Why am I running in this dental race? Am I running just to pay off debt? Am I running to live a fulfilled life? Can I take that path back to my core values and lead a more purposeful life? It felt really good to step off that treadmill occasionally. But then, as you would know, life threw us another curveball. You see, MYH11, it's genetic. <laughs> and a routine exam in my husband revealed his aorta was enlarged, much bigger than it needed to be, and he needed surgery ASAP. This was a huge wake-up call for me. We had slowed down, and yet there was still stress. It wasn't like we decided to transform our life and my son was miraculously healed and my husband didn't have the mutation. And then there was the stress of we still had bills to pay, a practice to run, activities to attend, obligations. That's life. Stress is a part of life. Everything on the planet experiences stress, even trees. Do you remember Biosphere 2? It was an experiment, a utopian environment built inside a bubble. And in this bubble were these big, beautiful trees. They grew super tall, and then they fell over. Do you want to know why? Scientists figured out the reason they fell over was because there was no wind inside the bubble. You see, wind acts like stress to the tree, and the tree develops stress wood. With each windstorm, the tree becomes stronger and more resilient to stress. Looking back at our lives and all the stress in it, we realized that we needed to be like those trees. We needed to build stress wood. So we decided to start taking consistent daily actions to build resilience to stress. And that's the second balance basic. It wasn't easy. We chose to hire coaches to guide us and help us with accountability. And it was uncomfortable because it felt unproductive. Meditation, yoga, breath work, journaling. But slowly I noticed a shift. I became less anxious. I was sleeping better. And the interactions that I was having with my kids, my team, my patients, they were more relaxed. Stress didn't leave, but I left stress alone. I didn't fuel that fire. So can you acknowledge in your own life that stress will always be there? And can you ask yourself, what can I do to build stress wood? What daily actions can I take to build my resilience to stress. I'm happy to say that because of those actions, our life is much different now. And that leads me to the third balance basic. If anyone here has ever scuba dived, you may know a term called buddy breathing. It's where two people share one regulator and one tank. It's in case somebody's equipment fails. When I learned how to scuba dive, I had the best scuba instructor ever. He sat with me on the shore and practiced buddy breathing with me. He showed me how to take a deep breath in, purse my lips, and slowly exhale. This gave time for my buddy to take a breath. Little did I know the gift that instructor had given to me. You see, this technique has been shown to stimulate the vagus nerve and the parasympathetic nervous system. It gets you out of fight or flight. I use this technique to bring all three of my kids into the world without any anesthetic. I used it before races. I even used this technique before I accessed my very first root canal. <laughs> and then one day, several months after my husband's surgery, I was about to do an extraction on a patient in my office. He was extremely nervous and wouldn't sit still. And in that moment, I remembered my scuba instructor. And I took time 
to teach my patient how to buddy breathe. And guess what? It worked. He calmed down. Several weeks later, the same patient came back into the office for a hygiene visit. Dr. Laura, he said, I can't thank you enough for teaching me how to buddy breathe. I've used it every time I'm anxious since, and it works. In that moment, I realized that slowing down is a gift. It's a gift for me. It's a gift for my family. It's a gift for my practice. And that's the third balance basic. Slowing down is a gift, a gift for yourself, a gift you can give others, and it's absolutely free. So what would slowing down look like for you? Who would benefit in your life from you slowing down? Would slowing down in your life send out a ripple that could turn into a wave? So I encourage you and ask you if you are willing to look at where you're at on the treadmill of busyness and ask yourself, how close am I to that wall? And today, we're going to work together through the three balance basics. We're going to go within so you can remember your why. We're going to determine what things you can do daily to build your resilience to stress. And we're going to help you realize how slowing down is a gift for yourself and others. You're the CEO of your life. It's time to become the boss of your balance. Take back your life. Because when you change your world, the world around you changes. Let's roll up our sleeves, get off the treadmill, and remember why we're here. <laughs>